Greetings and welcome back to Academia the School Simulator. I'm Catherine of Sky and I was letting the game run in the background so that we could get our students, the brand new ones, to come and transfer from other schools uh, when this screen popped up. So final exams are currently ongoing and um, <laughs> Of course, teacher is sleeping while the student is trying to frantically write notes about what they're supposed to be studying. So let's continue and find out how we did. All right, we got our school exam results. Freshmen, um, everybody passed except for those poor brand new students that came in. So this definitely gives us a reason not to transfer people toward the end of the semester. Um, and I have to remember, like, what day is that? because we weren't given any uh, any real warning. And here we have all of our past students and failed students. Um, I don't know why some of them are in different colors, like different color background. I'm thinking it's just, you know, to differentiate one from another. Aw, so cute, Suzette. And Susie is adorable. Oh, red hair is awesome too, nice. Apollonia, some funny names here. Um, Let's see. Yeah, everybody except for these poor students, these sophomores. Oh, I feel so bad for them because they didn't have a choice. No. All right, what do we got? Evaluation. We got a passing rate of B. Cleanliness of B. Overall grade B. All right, next school year. Okay, we're starting off and I think we have, we have 150 students, but we're going to need to get some students into those other new classrooms that we have. Um, so it's year two, day one. Right. So this is the whole year. This is not just a semester. That's good to know. All right. I think I'm going to wait until, or I'm going to not wait, but we are going to um, fast forward until we get to the next uh, time when we have more students and then we'll do a little bit more constructing. Oh, look at this. We got a huge grant apparently from this. I wonder where that came from. Um, looks like on our to-do list, do we have any grants we can do? The 200 student expansion, which we probably are going to get, considering we're inviting um, how many? 90 students, is it? Yeah, 90 students plus 150 is going to give us at least 200. We'll have 240 students in our school, but we're going to have to monitor the amount of other resources we have in comparison. Wow, the computer lab is absolutely packed full, even without those extra 90 students. There are spaces in the club. We could definitely expand the library, but I think we'll move those maybe to another area, maybe over here, uh, to have to kind of spread out stuff so that students don't have to walk really far because maybe they're eating in this cafeteria and they want to go over there. All right, so I will meet you back then. And we're back. So we're just before the day when all of the students are due to arrive. So it's five o'clock, everyone's getting dismissed, people are still having a little bit of a snack, and they're all going home. All right, we will welcome tomorrow our brand new students to be in the classrooms. I'm pretty excited about that. All right, the cooks are still cleaning. Look at this. We may have to hire some more cooks, I'm thinking, uh, or more janitors. Look at that mess, oh my goodness. All right, 647, 48. Oh my goodness, that cook is just very, very intrepid. Staying till like seven o'clock at night. Okay, one more person. Okay, they're all going home now. Okay, 90 transferee students are coming tomorrow. Welcome everyone, woohoo. All right, so we are going to have this number jump up to something like 240 students, I hope. Let's see, hopefully these, uh, the cooks are, they're cooking some food already. The janitors are getting busy cleaning the cafeteria. Wow, 240 students. <laughs> That's a lot of students. Wow. But um, I don't know why the cooks aren't grabbing these dishes off the table. Let's see how many cooks we have at the moment. Uh, whoops, I should have clicked here. We have five cooks. Hmm. Well, they're cleaning now. Maybe that's enough? I don't know. I feel like we definitely don't have enough janitors. Look at how much dirt is all over the place. Let's hire some janitors right now. There we go. One, two, three. So hopefully that'll be enough. 
Okay, we are now earning a grand total of $12,000 uh, per, per day. Oh, this is going to be a lot, but I'm really worried about our capacities for the students to enjoy themselves in the computer room and the library. So I'm thinking we should build maybe one of those over here to be kind of near-ish to the cafeteria because that's where, where they'll go after recess. I'm thinking about taking um, the size of these classrooms and then mirroring them on another side. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's build some more walls. This is how long? This is eight. I'm gonna need eight here, like this. Okay, and then we'll get this spread out like that. And I think I wanna make this area a computer room and a library as well. Okay, we're gonna need our doors to be here and there. And of course, get the concrete upward. Did we have two? Oh yes, that we have two wide walkways in most of the places. Now, should I connect those buildings here? I guess I suppose I could. The, the iffy one is going to be the library. I, I do need to count the number of tiles we want there. Though, what I could do is I could have a hallway here between the two rooms. Yeah, that might be a good idea. The thing is, the computer room can be so much more... Oh my god, look at all the dirt on the floor. Oh, this is awful. Oh, these poor children in the library. I think I need to make the computer room relatively small, and then the library can be quite a bit bigger. Um, goodness me. Wow. Yeah, we need more janitors. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, and six I'll put down. Okay. All right. <laughs> let's get this organized. Um, let's see. Our library was built out of blue tiles here. Uh, so we'll use that. He, uh, I don't know where we should go with this. I mean, I don't know how wide we should make it. That's my main thought here. Could have the computer room be fairly small. Uh, though I have to remember, you can only have buildings in a sort of square formation. You can't have like a an L-shaped library, unfortunately. Uh, let's build this all the way to the end since we have the cafeteria at the end of the screen as well. Now, our computer room, maybe we should make it this small, maybe? Because it's quite compact. Or, alternatively, um, we could build a couple of restrooms as well. Uh, is there anything else that we need? We can do... A, doo -doo -doo -doo, we could do another janitor's room. I don't know how, how much that's needed to have a second janitor's room. This is interesting too. It looks like most children are not going into this uh, cafeteria. Well, no, there they come. Maybe they're, maybe they couldn't find food on that side. I don't know. But one of the things that I'm thinking about doing is adding a doorway to go from one to the other, but then they could go around. It's okay. All right, it'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be just fine. Okay, let's build our blue wall here. I want to have a restroom, some kind of a toilet out here. I'm going to need this to be one, two, three, three tiles wide. I like the restrooms to be three tiles wide. So we'll take this down that way and we'll get this going across there. And we'll have the door on both sides like that. And then we'll have our door for the computer room. Oh, yes, we have to decide how big we want the computer room to be. Maybe like... Like this big? Yeah, that's fine. That'll be fine. And then we will have our walkway through this here. Go like that. And then we'll have doors into the computer room once we figure out how we want to lay this out. Let's see. Get, um... When I have the walkway, like two tiles there. Let's get out our bits and pieces computer lab. There we go. And we'll put these on this wall, like this. Do we want to have two spaces or just one for walking? These have a space between each thing. That makes sense because there are chairs required. All right, so we'll do it like this. 
and we'll have a little bit of a walkway there. Okay, so that gives us a better spot to build our, uh, our doors in here. There we go, we'll have one there. So that's one, two, third tile from the top. There we go. And this ginormous area can be the library. All right, let's put in some tile here. I think we can also put in wooden floors in the classrooms as well. Oopsies. Okay, concrete on the outside, of course, to go into each of these areas. Boom. There we are. Nice. I feel like <laughs> we're building big like in Factorio. <laughs> In a way, in a way, there's like palm trees growing in here. It'll be fine, right? Okay, what do we got in the library? I think this is blue carpet in both the computer room and the library. So let's put those in there to have kind of a visual reference just for ourselves so we know where stuff is going. Okay, there we go. And then we can zone these places. I also need to finish up this toilet over here, so I think we're going to do that in just a second. Right, so let's mark this. This is going to be our toilet, um, any. Go. I find this very convenient to have an any toilet. I haven't seen any students complaining about, oh, I only want male toilet or female toilet. So I'm hoping this will be okay. Um, let's go with our computer lab is gonna be here. And then the library shall be, do 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 do. I should look in um, alphabetical order. It will show me where it is. <laughs> All right, and these guys can be classrooms for now. Ooh, um, yeah, well, I forgot we're supposed to zone the type right from the get-go. Sophomore room right there. Okay, cool. School expansion 200 completed. I'm sure that completed right when we got the transferees. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and our school is still dirty. Oh my gosh. People are hungry. I like that they can get food after school. I think that's a really cool thing. Um, okay, so... Just checking on things happening. The clinic. <laughs> this is like a hospital. I think somebody remarked on that. <laughs> it is quite like a hospital, actually. All right, let's get... A oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. How did that zoom in so close? Okay. Um, looks like we have not enough cooks. Like, really not enough cooks. Um, they are not washing the dishes. They're not picking up all the plates. I think it's time to expand our kitchen items. Like... Um, Oh yes, and somebody, thank you very much for mentioning, there is a freezer in front of the door. Uh, so they can't get out this door. Dismantle this refrigerator. So we'll put one over here and maybe another over there. And we will have our more kitchen sinks. Oh, there are three. Okay, they're three long. We'll put two more there and we'll hire some more cooks. Maybe one, two, three of them. Hopefully that'll get working out fairly well. Um, all right, so let's get back to our objects. We're gonna uh, make these toilets working for us. There we go. Let's put the sinks. I wanna have trash cans at the ends of this area. Like that. Do I want trash cans in here? I don't think I actually need them. It seems like they only generate trash outside. So we're gonna just put our toilets and stuff in here. Let's go for sinks. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. We can have, well, I'll put four maybe, and then the rest can be urinals. And then I'll put the toilet cubicles on the other side. This is gonna really jack up our water bill quite a bit. Okay, and then we'll open this. Um, oh, hello, okay. We're ready. Next day, one, two, three, four. And we'll put in our urinal again. And then the toilet cubicles. All right, excellent. So those should open up fairly soon. I might even hire another worker or two. There we go, two new workers to help put down all the floorings in, in the area. Okay, now to get this other stuff organized. You can see our profit is going down. It's because we're creating all of these areas that are requiring other resources, which, you know, the electricity for the computer rooms um, and um, the water for the bathrooms. Okay, 
I want to get the computer lab set up. Oh, and I should also click our next goal as well. I'm right, going to make it just a short little Okay, this side is going to just have a little bit of a gap there and that'll be fine. I don't know if the students actually care about decorations or not. Um, we'll have to see. Or environment score. Oh, whoops. Nope, nope, nope. There we are. Make it blue carpet, not concrete tiles. Um, otherwise, we could add some kinds of decorations in these rooms. Now, we do need to make sure there's chairs for all of the children in here. Let's go. Click these guys down. Oh no! Oh my god. <laughs> that would have been a very annoying blunder. I thought I clicked rotate twice there, but I guess it didn't take. There we go. Right. Oh wow, this is exactly as long as it needs to be. Fantastic. Oh, that's awesome. I thought we had an extra space there, but we didn't. That is really cool. Now, <laughs> how do we want to do the library? can't face the bookshelves backward, unfortunately. So um, I think it, our best bet probably is to get in some of the, um... oh my god, the library got out of order. How did that happen? Okay. Anyway, um, put in some tables here, uh, maybe two from there. I want to have a walkway of two, first of all. So it looks a little bit more realistic, I suppose. There we go. Yeah, we really are giving our construction guys a run for their money, aren't we? Maybe, well, maybe we'll just take these guys out. And we'll put in, ooh, what we could do is we could put the bookshelves in the middle of the library. That's another option. There we go do this where we have one, two, um, three, and then put a couple of sideways, have like this little island of bookshelves in the center there. Yeah, that might work kind of interestingly. It's a shame we can't put them backward. Um, I don't know if that's coming or not. I hope it's coming. That would be really good. Let's get this here. Okay, these guys will have this here, and then actually it would be nice to have a little space there. Nope. Okay, we went through another day. Alrighty. Um, there we go. Actually, that's that's pretty okay. It's not too bad. Or alternatively, we could take these shelves out and just have uh, another space like this. That might be even better. It looks quite nice as well. I think that'll work. Uh, because the most of the things that we need are the tables so that they can sit down and read books. All right, good, good, good. Okay, I almost have this desire for a like a click drag option where you can like just click the chair and then drag it down and it's like yeah all the chairs will be in place well that's okay that's all right it's just it's the factorio in in me wanting to build big all the time but it's fine really <laughs> i really do like that the ui is so easy to use um because you can just right click if you make a mistake nothing um it is super, just super, super easy. Okay, this is, I like this. I like that they can go in the computer room that way. Toilet is looking good. This one is just fine as well. How are the one third period? I wanna see what lunch is like in here. General, oh wow. Okay, I didn't even like zoom in there and it just sort of randomly zoomed for me. Whoa, look at how many students are in here. Looks like they're coming to this cafeteria first. And either they don't see enough spaces to sit or they um, don't see food because I saw a few of these dispensers empty 
But the problem is that um, they waste time because they go in here and then they go out. I wonder if there's a way to kind of encourage them into here first. Or do I need to just make it a separate building, like convenient elsewhere, like maybe up here or something? Hmm. That's an interesting thought. Darn it. But overall, our, our school is going beautifully well. Okay, our school is dirty, yeah. Five students are absent due to sickness, which is not bad considering <laughs> the previous playthrough. Oh, oh, our clinic is getting used. Look at this, all these poor sick children are, are not feeling well, but they have the care of the nurses to, um, to help them through it, which is nice. I always remember the nurses in school being like very forbidding and, and quite stern. And it's like, no, I didn't do anything wrong. I just don't feel well. Okay, there we go. Get these. No, oh, that's the wrong thing, isn't it? All together. Oh no, I have to click every one of these? Really? Shoot. Okay, so you can't actually demolish them until they've been built. All right, that's good to know. But maybe a cancel planning thing would be great. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. Finally, I meant brick wall. I knew there was something wrong with the icon when I put it down there. Okay, it's day six. And even though I'm building the classrooms right now, I don't think I actually want to fill them until the next semester starts because I would feel really bad for students that had to, um, you know, get bad grades because they started in the middle of the semester. I don't know if that's really a valid thing though. Like if they start in the middle, why not give them like half uh, education because they're not going to be coming from random land USA. They're going to be going to another school, I would think. At least I would hope so. Now, some people have suggested that I close off this area. Maybe I should. Maybe I should have them go into the entranceway here. And we can even make this like a little, um, another, what is it, club section there. Okay, let's just do that. That's fine. And we will build a, what should we build? Brick wall? I think a brick wall might be most appropriate. Could be like the secret garden, you know? All right, we're gonna build a blueprint zones. I'm gonna build a club zone here. Do, 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 do. There we go. We'll take it all the way to the end. We'll probably add, decorate that area as well. All right, and we need tables and chairs here. And how do we want to decorate this? We could we could decorate it fairly well. Let's build it with some pretty planters. We'll have a couple of entrances. We'll have like one right there. Uh, or no, yeah, yeah, one right there. Because I want students to be able to take the very first entrance into this. And we'll just take this down to there. Have another entrance right across from the exits from other buildings. There we go. And we'll just continue this club around the other side. Um, against the wall, I think, uh, should we have bushes or do we want trees? Can we have trees? We do have trees. Isn't that nice? Um, I think I want to make the whole area. This was going to be a little bit more manicured, perhaps. Let's make the whole area grass. Can we do that? Maybe like cut grass. But do I have to remove the grass to put in trees? Now that's my question, I don't know. Let's see what we can do here with the trees. Oh, we could do a fountain as well. Let's put in a few tables here. Put them like this. I do want to have trash cans as well. And we'll put some on this side. Okay, like that. That looks pretty good. Um, before we put the chairs in, I would just want to make sure that we have space for like a fountain here. Maybe put the fountain in the center ish, and we'll put in some trees. Oh no, 
No, the grass is blocking us. Oh, all right, fine. All right, our school is going merrily along here. Let's put a tree here. Put in a tree here. And over here as well. And we'll also put in one there, I think. There we go. Like this. Okay, I have to wait till they remove those bits. I think. Come on, guys. You can do it. Oh, is that gonna clip the tree? That's interesting. <laughs> okay. All right, let's put in our, our, tr our traditional bushes here as well. Get our planters in for the decorations next to the buildings. There we go. Wow, that's very green. Of course, the club overlay is green as well. The grass itself looks like this. Oops, wow, how did that happen? Dang. All right, uh, the grass looks really cool like that. I like it. Okay, let's go back to our trees again. As they do stuff, we might as well shove things in. There we are. And I want a tree here. It's a shame that you can't have grass underneath the tree. That's a little bit funky, but we'll have one tree over here. Maybe another shade tree right over there. I think that'll be nice. And we can start putting in our chairs so that our students can enjoy this club area. Notice I am carefully not putting any benches over there because I don't think the students are going to sit in benches in a non-allocated zone. Or a zone that doesn't exist yet. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Twelfths or fourteen students are absent due to sickness. No! No! Alright, let's put in our tree. Oopsies. Wrong menu. There we go. Okay, here's our tree here and one there. Oh, and they're enjoying the outdoors already. Isn't that nice? Okay, so this did not get clipped. That is looking really nice. I like it. So here we have another entertainment venue that's very, very close to the cafeteria. Um, and by having regular doors, the students can walk through if they need to. This is looking really good. I'm liking this so far. Let's check on the well-being of our students. Oh, okay. So the freshmen are really short. Wow, juniors too are short in science and history. Don't know if that's because we had new students come in or our teachers are underperforming. Wow, look at the seniors in history. Do we have really poor history teachers or something? Let's see. Reina Abadia is... Let's see. Let's check our senior classroom. Who is assigned here? Oopsies. Uh, not this. I want to go to zone... Zone edit... Edit classroom. We have Tristan Angeles. Um, how is he doing in in stuff? Can we not see his skills? Uh, I guess not. He is. Whoa, let's pause this for a moment. I wonder if he walked off while I was looking at stuff. All right, let's find him again. <laughs> okay, he's here uh, in this pile of people. Right. No! I'll have to find him in a minute. Wow, I wonder if these plate things are getting overloaded. I could put some more plate things by the door. That's another option for sure. Hmm. Looks like our cooks are really almost overloaded with stuff to do. Alright, come on. I want to see what you're doing. Where are you? Are you in here? Ah, there you are. Can I click on him? No. No, I can't see his skills. Darn it. Well, we can hope and pray that it gets better. Um, hmm. Clinic has got two students there. I wonder where the nurses are. They seem to be all gone. There's one. Okay, they're doing okay. Yeah, they're missing some of their lesson time, alas. Okay, we can get this stuff out of the way, though. I wonder why that hasn't been built yet. Uh, let's go into build mode and go into our walls. Do, 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 do. And get our wooden floors laid down. 
add our concrete tile gone across as well. We still have a couple of bits and pieces here and there that have not been put down by the uh, construction folks. Wow, the mess in here is extreme. Kind of just like looking around, checking, is there more? Do we need to hire more janitors? It looks very, um, just minorly dirty. I think they're doing a really good job so far. Okay. It's not bad. This club is getting used a lot. This one, people are coming here too. That's good. It's very nice. Okay. We're using the computer lab and the library to a small degree as well. And we're down to <laughs> plus 7,000. Oh my gosh. However, I think that the only thing we need to build when we fill these classrooms is probably going to be another cafeteria. Hmm. I'm kind of working, thinking about how I want to organize this cafeteria. I'm wondering if I should move the kitchen all the way to the right um, and have one big cafeteria instead of two smaller ones and just double up on the number of the food uh, buffet lines and things like that. That might be a better idea. All right, let's get our... Um, do we have a to-do list? Grants. Yeah. School expansion 300. Um, so that I think will be probably our goal for the next episode because we have run out of time. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time.